I've been getting questions about how to put more than one curve on a MathCAD XY plot, so I thought that would make a good video. I've got one function defined right here, and let's plot that. This is version 15, by the way. Go to Insert Graph XY Plot, and I'll just put X and F1 of X. Now that 1, it's F.1. That dot means that what follows it is text. This is not uh, a vector address or anything. That 1 is just part of the variable name. So let's maybe stretch it out there a little bit. Maybe make it a little bigger. And turn the grid lines on. So there we go. Now that looks pretty good. What if I wanted to put another function on here? Maybe we'll call that f2 of x. And I'll call that sine uh, 2 of x. Sounds good. Right? Now, the, the uh, x that I use for the horizontal axis here is the same for both of them. So it's OK to just leave that. And, but I do need two different uh, variables called out on the y-axis. So just click there. And hit a space bar. So now that I've got I've got uh, F1 highlighted, and hit comma on the keyboard. When you hit comma, you get this box that gives you a place to type in another function name. So there it is. Well, maybe I don't want dotted lines. Maybe I want solid lines. So double click on the graph, and your formatting uh, choices come up. So go to traces. Now F2 is my second. Uh, function I've typed in, that's the second trace, and it is indeed a dotted line, so maybe I'll make that a solid line and say OK, and there I've got it. Okay. What if I wanted to plot just one point, put a dot on the graph to illustrate something? Let's do that. Let me go here. I'm going to delete that, and now notice that even though F2 is still defined, it's not on the graph because it's not on that vertical axis. Well, I don't need this anymore, so I'm going to delete it. And let's let's find a, a point to define on this uh, graph I've got. What if we made x of 5 and y of 0 0.4? We'll put a dot right there. Well, I need some variable name. I'll call it x1, I guess. We'll make that 5. And y1, we'll call that 0 0.4 and just simply add those to the graph. For the x-axis now, I really do need another definition. So put a comma. There's the box I get to fill in with my new entry. And I'll make that x1. And up here, now notice how the, the, the uh, highlighter's going the wrong way. I'm going to hit the right arrow, get it pointed the right direction, and hit space. And I'm going to put y1 right there. OK, now you can't see it very well, but there's one little dot there. It literally looks like one pixel on my screen. Well, that means there's a point there, but there's no marker there. Well, I can fix that. Let's double click, bring up the formatting window again, go to Traces, and see over here where it says Symbol? There's no symbol. Let's put one. Let's put a dot or a circle and make it blue. Leave it blue, and there it is. There's the. There's the dot showing that point. And if I wanted a different, uh, wanted to move it around, I could just change these axes, these uh, uh, variable assignments, and I can move it. Okay. Last thing, what if I wanted to make a function that uh, was the distance between any point on the red line and that dot? Well, that's just the Pythagorean theorem. So maybe I'll call that x. That's going to be the square root. I hit the backslash uh, key on my keyboard to get the square root. So x minus x1, that quantity squared, plus f of x, which would be y minus y1. Square that. Okay, so that's the distance in x squared plus the distance in y squared. Add them together, square root. That's the Pythagorean theorem. Oops, i got to make that F1. Sorry, guys. There, so that's correct now. I could add this here. Okay. This will be my third trace, and my third trace is going to be a function of x. Now, I, when I hit, uh, I clicked on x1 there, and the, high, the blue highlight looked like that. I wanted to have the vertical line on the right because I want to add to the right. I just hit the right arrow key a couple of times. Hit the comma. There's x again. 
highlight y1 over there on the vertical axis. And now I'm going to say d of x. So I'm going to actually have three traces on here. I'm going to have the red was my original function, the blue dot, and then that trace. And there it is. Okay. Now, it changed the axes on me. Well, maybe I only want to go from 0 to 5 here. So I'm going to go from 0 to 5. And the vertical axis I need to expand out a little bit. So maybe let's go from minus 1 to, I don't know, 2. and see what happens. That looks pretty good. And that green is just making my eyeballs hurt. I, want, I would rather that be blue. So this is now the third trace where it says green. And I'll just make it blue. And there it is. Okay. So goes through a minimum right at 4. That point right there uh, between uh, that point, uh, blue point, and that red curve, that distance is a minimum when x equals 4. So like the distance from that point to x equal 1 would be a very large number. And you can tell because that dotted blue line is high there. Okay, So there we have it. There's three different traces on this plot now. There's an individual point and two different functions. The dotted blue line function is the distance from that blue point to any point on that red line. I hope this helps. We'll talk to you next time. Thank you.